characters for Phenom right now are all of the spaces. Mm -hmm. uh, old Manendorf, and he's working on the Roy. He said his Roy's not quite there yet. And uh, his Greninja's there. He's got Greninja, all the spaces, oh, and yeah, he had a Greninja back in, uh, in Smash 4 as well. I don't know if he caught that, by the way, but Phenom is also one of those uh, few brave souls that plays with default controls. Yeah. Smash absolutely. stick, uh, you know, tap jump. Tap jump, of course, reasonable. Uh, as anybody would expect. But yeah, I mean, with Fox, Smash Stick definitely works now that you don't need to chain all those up tilts together with yeah. perfect pivots and whatnot. Absolutely. Like we said, both of these players, old head Smash 4 players, at least Phenom has been playing for a long, oh, yeah. long way, time. Way, way long time. <laughs> I, I, I definitely would not call Grayson an old head. I mean, compared to some of the new people here, maybe. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, he's a... But he's Phenom, yes. He's not a new gen. You're right. You're yeah. Right. Phenom, Phenom is what we would call an old head. Yes. We, we now have old gens and old heads. God bless. <laughs> oh, that should be an up smash? Forward smash to punish. Forward mm -hmm. smash, basically for Fox, is just up smash but sideways. Yes. It's kind of crazy. Trying to trap with that back here. Doesn't hit the shield, so he knows that he's going to back off. <gasps> because if you don't hit the shield, that's actually a lot more punishable. I, I, you know, the fact that Phenom jumped out, I'm actually a little sad. Because oh. that falling up air into another up air would have been amazing. It's crazy to me that Grayson tried to punish that back air. Because it's like minus six, minus four. Not very punishable. No. Uh, but Rob has that frame two down tilt, man. Well, but out of shield, it's frame 13. Oh, you're right. So. Never mind. If Phenom... If Phenom catches that, Grayson doesn't really know which options are safe to punish, especially a well-spaced back air at the ledge. We could definitely see uh, that robbing a stock later on. <laughs> I, I appreciate the pun. Intended or not, I appreciate that, that it was there. Okay, I like that. Phenom up tilted the shield and then rolled out of the situation because he realized I don't get my turn again. I have some pressure to reset to neutral. Mm -hmm. Grayson doing a great job of catching with the down smash, Ooh. evening this up before the percent gets too crazy, but ooh, Rob can just take one hit and Fox can carry it so far. Yeah, this is this is no different from any previous game. That's so much damage. Fox has always been a character that relies on momentum and thrives with momentum, but Phenom really showing it. Mm. Well, and that, and that transfers to him as a player as well. Like, when he gets grooving, oh my god, man, I, I don't want to play against that. He's definitely scouting out defensive options. He just doesn't have which defensive option Grayson's going for down pat yet. So he's going for a couple of reads that are missing their mark, but they're not super unsafe. Mm -hmm. I like that he waits for that gyro to disappear right there and getting it off the stage a little bit. Look Grayson, at the spacing. Grayson is stalling. That's It's great spacing, but Grayson is also stalling. Oh to my get his god, gyro look back. at that. He yeah. dashed just out of the range. He faked going for a back air. He empty hopped right in his face. And then Grayson thought, okay, so you're just going to keep going for fake pressure. I'm going to drop my shield. I'm going to fight my way out of the corner. And then Phenom scoops and in the upstairs. Bam. Smash. Gunshot. Dude, Phenom's such a smart player. He's he's figured out the timings Ooh. that Grayson, at the very least, is going for defensive options. And sometimes that's all you need. That down smash was a great punish, though, on that illusion. All right, and holding back so that he does not go to that ledge. Mm -hmm. That means Phenom's going to be able to make it back. And look at that safe shield. Like he said, it's like minus minus nothing on shield. Yeah, I can pull up the exact data. I know it's either four or six. And I think it's uh, the same as his Nair, actually. So that would make it minus four. Oh, my goodness. Almost trying to chase that with a up smash, but got caught by the lingering hitboxes of that back air. Landing Nair, but the soft hit doesn't send anything up. Oh, this could be big for Grayson. Mm -hmm, could be, but Phenom able to maneuver himself back off stage. That Nair going to kill. Catches That's... the neutral getup. He's sitting at 103. I got to tell you, that Nair man does not have the power that he used to. That, no. is, a, that is now a, like, 5 6% move, but there is absolutely no landing like Grayson showing it mm -hmm. off there, but... Just kind of wow. throwing out a little bit too many things. Great DI is going to be the only thing that's going to save him. Yeah, showing off how fat Rob is. He's able to hold on to these stocks, even when you get those sick you know, setups, like the late Nair into the up smash. Hey, look, man. We Trapped don't need to, the ledge. We need to bring Rob's weight and eating habits into this, man. All right. All right, All right. He just loves some plastic blocks. I don't blame him. They're delicious. Uh -huh. Up tilt. This could be big, actually. Fox dies relatively early comparative to Rob. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we find one setup off stage, Grayson trying to chase, but doesn't catch the tech in. I mean, with one more combo from Grayson, okay. he's going to get caught jumping right there with that up smash. That's one of the things is that if you're up close to Rob and he's jumping a lot, those aerials are going to take a little while to come out, especially the Nair. Okay, and the important thing there is we saw that Grayson started to feel a groove, started to feel like the comeback was rising. He was getting that percent, and when people get put in that situation, they don't want to hold back and let on the pressure. So what they'll do is continue to apply, like, 
you know, aerial pressure, try to set up with their projectiles, but they don't sit back and shield and give you an opportunity to get your groove back, especially as a Fox player. Mm -hmm. Phenom understood that and said, okay, you're going to be pressing buttons. You might be taken to the air, but you're not going to shield this. So I'm scooping in with the up smash to stifle that momentum 100% and move into this game too with a W next to my name. I mean, the worst thing that happens there is that he, he, he trades with it and he gets the kill anyways. Yeah. So. Yeah, game two now, Town and City. Big stage, not going to give Phenom the uh, the same ability to just kind of rush down Grayson the way he was in that last game. But moreover to the point that these platforms uh, on both transformations are in really awkward places for Fox. And doing a great job of catching Phenom's landing. Grayson going a little ambitious with that uh, those rotor arms. I think he was looking for, for Phenom to do something with that gyro, but just didn't yeah. find it. Wow, back air catching Phenom's landing with a neutral air. It, you know, Foxes love to do it. They definitely love applying pressure that way. Because mm -hmm. both, no. I looked at the data, both Nair and back air are minus four. Wow. What a parry. That is so fast. Look at that combo there from Phenom, dude. That is excellent. Puts on great damage. Staling the up smash a little bit, but it's so strong it might not matter. On this stage, though, a little bit uh, higher blast zones. Yeah. That, yeah. that you know, Phenom's, maybe it did matter. Phenom's doing so many smart things and and utilizing his moves effectively. Um, like, I'm seeing, I'm seeing he's playing like light but slower. Mm -hmm. And that's why Grayson is able to keep this pressure on him the way that he has is because Phenom just doesn't have his foot to the floor. You know, he's not shifting into six gear. Check out that reaction. He is finding kills in much the same way. He recognized that Grayson, he's a good player. He's going to get these tech situations. So Phenom ran towards him, skidded, and reacted to that tech in. Watch out. That's going to be a down smash. Oh, yeah. And that Gotta sends remember. straight out. Yeah. Yep. The gyro will always send you the way that Rob is facing when he drops it. So. Of course. <laughs> you got to see when he turns around like that, you're not getting sent back off stage like you were doing smartly that last time. Yeah, that roll to the ledge is a familiar setup for the Robs. You can't just neutral get up into it. Get up attack is the option there because you're fully invincible and you send the gyro their way. Yeah. Rob has to be baiting that one out to punish it. By the way, I don't know if you what saw that. boxing game? Grayson tried to duck under the Fox Illusion when it was coming back on stage, but it still hit him. Rob's a big body. Low profile it. And That's also, that, that illusion has a deceptively bigger hitbox than you might think. It sure does. Okay, Phenom applying so much pressure, forcing Grayson to the sky. Great parry. Mm -hmm. And the up tilt's so good, too, because that covered the cross-up that Grayson went for and probably covered him not crossing up as well because Rob's so big. Of course. I mean, that back air just has great hitboxes. Mm -hmm. Nair landing so high on the shield meant Grayson was able to jab out. And maybe Phenom just not pressing a button afterwards, trying to go for more pressure. Because if Fox goes for that late Nair and doesn't press jab afterwards Ooh. or starts, you know, jumping around, setting up his next tool, then you can punish it. It becomes a mix-up game. Yeah. By the way, we were talking about how that back air on shield is tough to punish from uh, from Fox, but Grayson uh, Grayson found one with that uh, with that jump forwarder. Yeah, and again, that's that's punishing specifically Phenom trying to jump again and set up more pressure. Because mm -hmm. if he goes for an up tilt afterwards or a jab, he is going to catch your out of shield option. He's the thing smacked. is, then the up tilt or jab afterwards will be unsafe on shield if he keeps going for that. So it's, when does Fox stop? Yeah. It's a yeah. game of red light, green light. Grayson, Grayson found it, man. Right now, Grayson is putting the red light on Phenom's momentum. Yeah, there's a, there's plenty of red on the screen right now at the, at the bottom third, if you want to check that out with all that percent. You know, both these guys close to dying. Phenom just can't find that finishing blow. And he put up onto this platform, Rob has got a lot of landing coverage tools. Oh. And Something has what gone wrong. What happened to Grayson's controller? I guess uh, it disconnected, but Phenom's saying, don't worry about it, I got you. What a, what a, nice, what a nice man. And he said, don't take that stock. I want to earn it at 130. Down tilt, he doesn't have a jump? Yeah, now He's Firefox. Oh, but a good angle. Mm -hmm. Angling ambiguously, so it's hard to time that down air. But oh, that yeah. neutral air, enough. <laughs> enough of them will eventually catch the Fox. He has to jump to really get anything real set up, even uh, like his back air. His neutral air to set things up. He has to take to the skies. Dude, Rage, 171. <laughs> yeah, he, you're right. He has to take to the skies, and Grayson's like, you know, eventually you're going to die. Yeah, no, I'll send you back up there. You like the skies, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's not Falco. I hope you brought that a parachute. That ain't Falco. Oh, shoot. You're right. Oh, no. That ain't Falco. That's Fox coming in. Still got the big metal legs. Mm-hmm. Actually, pretty stubby. Not going to lie. Yeah. They're pretty short. They're, well, but he uses them big. Yep, uses uses them in a big way. Those those heavy digitigrade legs. Okay, using that up throw because it's zero. Fox doesn't have any guaranteed combos, so he's gonna set up on the platform pressure. But Grayson got it out just fine, oh and God. boy is he putting on damage. He down tilted him four times in a row. That's a good move. Wow, and gonna 
like punish the dash attack. Too. That's crazy to punish dash attack with forward smash. I don't know what the data is on that, but dash attack is, uh, it doesn't cross up unless it's a really early hit. Yeah, really, really early hit. Have to be careful about where you place it and just how you're moving that, because that early hit's going to set up differently than that late hit's going to set up as well, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. Late hit probably going to get you a juicier follow-up. Down smash sending so far out. He sniped oh, him with yes. that gyro. Long distance, dude. Send him a mail card. Postcard. I said mail card. Yeah, you know the people know. Eh, they, they know what I'm saying. Up tilt pressure on this platform. He tried up here to catch the jump, but Phenom timed it a little bit. So that it was... Oh, he missed the timing. Phenom is not going for these uh, these OSs that Fox has option to do. Maybe maybe on the platform he can't do it because he'll push Rob off. Possibly. But I know that he had an opportunity on the stage earlier to go for oh the my, option selection. You see how quick that Tomahawk was? Fox he teleported back to the ground. Fox lands really quickly. He's got that big gravity. He has the gyro in hand after taking that stock. Mm -hmm. Let's see how he can use it. But at this percent, I'm scared because this is a, a thing that Rob's like to do is give you their gyro and then trick you into tossing it so they can use that side beat. Yeah. Oh, up smash caught him because he was stuck between Grayson and the top. Yeah. And that gyro definitely not kind to you. Yeah, he had to, I mean, basically he had to choose between holding shield until Grayson grabbed him or jumping, mm -hmm. and Grayson chose to cover the jump. So. Yeah, and he wasn't at a favorable percent to get down through it anyway. Yeah. Nair out of shield. He was able to Oof. catch the grab out of the scramble. He's getting a lot of parries on these uh, neutral layers, but just one up tilt. It's not comboing super well at this percent. Yeah, no. I mean, even though Rob's big, it's it's just not the same move that he used to be. Man. Grayson's adjustments have been insane. Jumps Grayson. over the laser. Phenom getting good damage. Waits for the air dodge, but he doesn't have a punish. So Grayson gets back down. Yeah, that's, uh, that's him not being close enough to Grayson there because Fox has that, you know, T-shaped T threat zone, right? <laughs> he doesn't have a whole lot of diagonals in there. Now sending Grayson a little diagonal. Up off the top after the up smash. Yeah, I would I would call that more of a more of a 90 or mm -hmm. at least closer. But with good DI, it won't be. All right, so stuck with this ledge trap. What's he gonna do? Uh, Grayson, uh, it looked like he was gonna retreat to ledge, but he got a little bit aggressive again and just you know aggression is Fox's zone, but that catch only. Jump. Yeah, trying to trying to man. And uh, that aggression, though, for Fox really only works if you're upping that speed a whole lot. And Phenom has just been its a little bit slow on the pickup. That's why Grayson's got this lead, but... If Phenom wants to bring this back, he's got to play a lot more grounded. Bait out those options. Come in with the punishes. Whoa. He went low, and that's what saved him. Now he's got to go high. I love that Grayson went out there for the forward air, but the missed angle on Phenom is going to lose him that game. Landed just on top of the stage when he wanted to snap ledge, obviously, but yeah, he, that forward tilt came in. Yeah, it wasn't necessarily that he missed an angle, but he just uh, used that Firefox too early. Yeah.